double trouble of fluid and flap author has no financial interest a 65 year old lady presented with dimness of vision in both eyes best corrected visual acuity was 2 by 60 in right eye and 6 by 36 in the left eye fundus of right eye shows pigmented lesion at macula while left eye shows whitish macular lesion with exudates OCT right eye shows scarred CNVM left eye shows CNVM with cystoid edema and subretinal fluid left eye intravitreal anti vegf injections were started After the third injection there was resolution of VMT with formation of a large full thickness macular hole Challenges in the present case are a one eyed patient already diseased eye difficult intraoperative identification of macular hole and ILM peeling to be done over CNVM After detailed discussion with the patient surgery was planned vitreous stained by triamcinolone posterior vitreous detachment induction was done vitrectomy completed brilliant blue dye injected internal limiting membrane peeling was initiated the plan is to do an inverted ilm flap things were going really well when this happened The ILM flap got dislodged from the hole margin. Now, PFCL was injected. ILM free flap was made. using silicon tip this free flap was positioned in the macular hole gently pfcl was removed fluid air exchange performed post operative oct showed closed macular hole with bcva of 6 by 36 the learning points in this case are Intravitreal injections can cause resolution of VMT. The VMT resolution may lead to a macular hole formation. ILM peeling is a viable option for macular holes in CNVM. 
keep calm and carry on after an intraocular complication. Free ILM flap can be tried in dislodged ILM cases. Thank you.